So in this next slide, we're going to discuss things um, which make students most risk of being bullied. Uh, what that means is that all bullies are looking for certain qualities in their victims. Bullies don't pick, don't, do not pick on everyone. There are certain qualities that they are looking for in their victims, which makes it easy for them to target. So uh, that's, what the list is, that's what this list is about. So the first one here is students perceived to be different from their peers. So anytime there's a student in a school that is somehow different from the norm of their uh, surroundings, then they are more likely to be bullied. Uh, it could be, I have some examples here, for example, someone who's overweight, someone who's new in school, someone who doesn't dress properly or according to what is acceptable in the norm of that school. So somehow he or she is different from uh, his or her peers. So that will make the student uh, a target of bullying. Another reason, um, another thing that bullies look for is students who belong to ethnic or religious minorities. So we always, so we've heard stories about this, about how a hijabi girl, for example, uh, will have her hijab pulled off uh, in a public school, or a Muslim kid who is called a terrorist because he's brown or he's a Muslim, who has a Muslim name. Um, or uh, if maybe if it's an African-American student um, in a predominantly white school who might be targeted as well. So someone who is ethnically or religious minority in school is more likely to be picked on uh, by a bully. Uh, another reason that may cause a student to be picked on by a bully is students who, perceived, who are perceived to be weak or have low self-esteem or lack self self-confidence. Um, so this particular quality is actually something that um, is one of the favorites for a bully, um, for their victims. The reason being because a child who has low self-esteem, meaning they have a low opinion about themselves, oh, I'm too fat, I'm not smart enough, I'm dumb, I'm this, I'm not pretty enough, whatever that may be, they have a very low opinion of themselves and they have, and because of that, they lack self-confidence. That means they will not fight back. They will not stop the bully from behaving the way that he or she does. They will basically take the abuse. So that's why this particular quality is very important to a bully. The last one I have here is students who have few friends or who are unpopular. Obviously, if you do not have social support, social backing, then you are more likely to be picked on by a bully. Now, I want to make something clear. This is not to say that the victim here is that blame. That's not what we're saying. What we're saying is that these are qualities which attract bullies to their victims.